Hey everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're breaking down one of the first college football games of the season as Nevada hosts SMU at Mackay Stadium in Reno. It's going to be a fun one because, hey, let's face it, we've all been waiting for football for months now. This is a game between two FBS programs, and for SMU, it'll be their maiden voyage as a member of the ACC. Uh, for Nevada, it is the beginning of a new era as Jeff Choate takes over as the head coach. Uh, he takes over a slumping program since Ken Wilson was let go after two seasons. He went 4-20. and 20. Uh, The team lost 16 straight games under his watch, lost 10 straight to close out 2022 and 0-6 uh, to start off last season. Uh, so they'll be looking to get a victory in their uh, first season opener for for the first time in a couple of years and uh it's a team that uh, comes into this one as a 24 and a half point home underdog it opened at 27 so some money has come in on the wolf pack total opened at 58 and is now available at 56. uh we'll give you a lean on the contest and talk a little touchdown prop um but uh for starters, this is, like I said, SMU's first game as an ACC member. Rhett Lashley is back for his third season. He was uh, the former uh, quarterback for Gus Malzahn uh, back in high school. Uh, and so he's a, a Malzahn disciple. Malzahn from Auburn uh, went to UCF, where he now uh, coaches the Knights and has a promising team on his hands there. And Lashley has a squad that should hit the ground running in the ACC it's a it's a team that runs a lot of no huddle they've got a lot of talent back so uh they should be excited that they can compete at the acc level immediately they finished 15th nationally last season with 74.8 plays per game uh and after a seven and six debut lashley went 11 and three last season he lost to oklahoma tcu and boston college in their bowl game but uh they won the american athletic conference then won the AAC championship game against Tulane. So certainly they come into this one with a lot to feel good about. Their top seven tacklers are back on the defensive side of the ball. Two quarterbacks are back. Their top three running backs are in the mix. A lot of receivers back. Preston Stone will lead them out onto the field. He is a quarterback from Dallas, highly touted recruit who originally started his career at Oklahoma. There's a lot of talented transfers on this team, Jalen Knighton, Played at uh, Miami, Camp Kamar Newton, uh, pardon me, Wheaton from Alabama, LJ Johnson from Texas A&M, all were top recruits uh, on the running back side of things and have ended up in Dallas playing for an SMU offense that likes to get the ball to their backs, uh, either by pitching it to them or handing it off to them or throwing it to them short. Uh, so you should see... Uh, that uh, Preston Stone will be among the leaders in completion percentages. They uh, they really do execute well uh, at SMU. And for Nevada, I think Choate is a, a defensive guy. He had a lot of success at Montana State, uh, and he was a former uh, linebacker in his playing days, co-defensive coordinator at Texas last year. And uh, what we should see from this Nevada team is – a squad that wants to run the football, protect the football, and most of all, stop you uh, on the defensive side of things. He took a program that was five and six uh, originally at Montana State. They went four and seven in his first season, five and six in his second season in years three and four, had a ton of success, eight and five, and then an 11 and four season where he finished uh, in the FCS semifinals. His defensive coordinator is another Montana State defensive great and Kane Ione. Uh, he has been with uh, Choke before. So I believe that they'll have an identity on the defensive side of things, and we'll see what, what they're able to do offensively. Uh, and I think that's where you should tread lightly if you see SMU and you want to ride with the over. And already, um, you know, we've seen that shrewd betters have taken the under here, considering that this opened at 58. You've seen the money pile in on the under, and it's now at 56. So I'm not really touching the total. I would just say that be leery of wanting to ride the high side with SMU because they like to run a high volume of plays. But in this contest, I think they will look to get out of Reno with a victory first and foremost. And uh, they have a game at home against Houston Christian next week, 
while Nevada will play at Troy. And this is Nevada's only home game against the Power Four squad. They'll also play at Minnesota later this season, and they host Oregon State, which is no longer Power uh, Four, obviously, because the Pac-10, while it does exist, is a uh, is a two-team league at this point, and a lot of the uh, Oregon State and Washington State games will be played against the Mountain West. Uh, let's ride here with the Nevada Wolfpack getting the points. It's 24 and a half. This is a team that I think will probably keep this somewhat respectable, lose by 20 or so. Um, they were, uh, they're four and 15 lifetime uh, as a home underdog uh, of double digits. And uh, the only time that Nevada has been a larger dog at home uh, in their existence has been uh, against Kansas last season, week three, and they only lost 31 to 24 in that game with a team that's not quite as talented as this one. Uh, Nevada has a new offensive coordinator, Matt Lubick. Uh, they've got a new running back in Patrick Darwo from Boston College, but he's not going to play in this one. Uh, still getting ramped up after missing some time in camp, although he is now full go. Maybe he gets a couple of carries, but uh, I expect Sean Dollars to be the guy. Uh, and under center, you've got Brendan Lewis, the former Colorado starter. He started last season for the Wolfpack and is back again. Uh, the uh, buzz on him is that he did not throw an interception at all in uh, the preseason scrimmages and, and drills. So uh, I don't know whether that says a lot about Nevada's uh, lack of takeaway ability or whether uh, Lewis is being extra cautious with the ball, which would certainly serve him well against a very talented SMU back seven. A uh, lot of depth for the Mustangs. I think they're going to uh, really be a factor on that side of the ball, uh, which would help them uh, make the immediate, immediate transition into the ACC. Uh, and offensively, I think you should take a look at LJ Johnson. He's the backup running back to Knighton. Uh, because he is only minus 135 scoring any time touchdown. And while Knighton will be the primary ball carrier, I think we see a lot of, of uh, Johnson here. We probably see some Wheaton. But Johnson getting into the end zone is my player prop pick at minus 135. So we're going to go ahead and take the points with Nevada and ride with LJ Johnson to score a touchdown in this season opener in Reno where Nevada should hang tight against SMU, but ultimately will lose. No upsets coming here. Uh, the last time that Nevada did win a game as a double-digit underdog at home was against Purdue back in 2019. I don't anticipate that type of magic, although we should see Jeff Choate have a successful debut as uh, Nevada looks to start from the ground up after a very disappointing 4-20 and 20 run over the last two seasons. Smash that like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. It's going to be a long college football season, so pace yourself. We'll also have you covered in the NFL, international soccer, the WNBA, baseball, you name it. We'll get you covered. Make sure you're subscribed and liking these videos. However, follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Take advantage of all of our packages, uh, and you can check those out at sm.buzz slash TDM for my free plays and whatever I have offering. And we will certainly be in action this weekend with college football, uh, some NFL preseason stuff, and obviously MLB and the WNBA. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.